Okay, being able to claim someone as a dependent on your taxes is like finding free money. It unlocks the door to a number of tax credits and tax deductions that can save you thousands of dollars in taxes and even increase the size of your refund check. Kids are often the go-to thought when people think of dependents, but there are other categories of people that can be claimed as a dependent, regardless of age. Granted, they meet a few basic requirements and qualify. Here's a hint, your boyfriend or your girlfriend. So let's clarify who can be claimed as a dependent, what is needed for you to claim them, all of the benefits that come with more dependents. As always, hit that like button for me and let's get started. Hey everyone, Karan here from Life Accounting, where we help you save on taxes and increase your wealth. And today's topic is all about dependents. What is a dependent? Well, according to the IRS, a dependent is a person other than the taxpayer or spouse who entitles the taxpayer to claim a dependency exemption. That isn't too helpful. So let's make it more clear. A dependent is someone you support and at least half of their support, including food, shelter, and clothing, is provided by you. A dependent can be a child or a qualifying relative, and you must have provided more than half of a person's total support. Now, total support is considered the cost to provide food, lodging, clothing, education, medical and dental care, recreation, transportation, and similar necessities. Now, the IRS provides a set of tests that must be passed to be able to claim a child or qualifying relative. So let's take a look at them. To claim a child as a dependent, you must be able to say yes to the following five questions. Is a child related to you? To be related, the child can be your son, daughter, stepchild, foster child, your brother, your sister, your half brother, your half sister, your stepbrother, stepsister, or a descendant of any of them. Next, does a child meet the age requirement or are they disabled? You see, the child must be under the age of 19 and younger than you or your spouse if filing jointly. If the child is a full-time student, then they must be under the age of 24. If the child is disabled, there is no age requirement. Does the child live with you? The child must have lived with you for more than half of the year. Now, there are a few exceptions for parents who live separately, for children who were born or died during the year, or temporary absences due to events like illness, education, vacation, and military service. Did you support the child? You must have provided more than half of the child's total support for the year, even if the child has a job. Are you the only one claiming the child? You are not able to claim a child if someone else claims a child, if the child claims a personal exemption, if the child claims someone else on their return, or if the child is married and filing jointly. Now, there are situations where separated or divorced parents may not know who can claim a child as a dependent, especially in a situation where the child lived with one parent for more than half of the year, AKA the custodial parent, while the other parent, AKA the non-custodial parent, provides more than half of the support for the child. If no divorce or separation decree exists that states who will get to claim the child, here is how you decide. First, the parent who the child spends the most time with may claim the dependent. Secondly, if the child spends equal time between both parents, then the parent with the highest adjusted gross income may claim the dependent. Lastly, if only one of the taxpayers is the child's parent, that parent may claim the dependent. Now, let's talk about how to claim a relative as the dependent. To claim a qualifying relative, you must be able to say yes to these four questions. Do they live with you? The relative must have lived with you for an entire year to claim them as a dependent. Now, there are exceptions for relatives who do not live with you, but I will go over that shortly. Next, do they have an income under $4,300? The relative cannot make over $4,300 in gross income. There are exceptions for relatives with a disability. Did you support the relative? You must have provided more than half of the relative's total support for the year even if the relative has a job. There is an exception to this rule if you have a multi-support agreement with another person for the relative or the relative is a child with divorced or separated parents. Are you the only one claiming the relative? You must be the only person claiming the relative as a dependent and you are not able to claim the relative twice. For example, you can't have them as a qualifying relative and then again as a qualifying child. It just won't work. When talking about claiming a relative, 
I do want to circle back to the requirement that they must live with you for the entire year. Relatives who are related to you by blood, marriage, or law are considered relatives who do not have to live with you and therefore are an exception to the rule. This includes the following people, your child, stepchild, foster child, or grandchild, including adopted children, your in-laws, your sibling, including half-siblings and step-siblings, your parent, including step-parents, but not foster parents, your grandparent or other direct ancestors, like a grandparent, your little niece or your little nephew, including those who are half siblings or your aunt or uncle. Now, the biggest difference between a qualifying child and a qualifying relative is that the qualifying relatives I just mentioned do not have to live with you for more than half a year. As an example, a child may be a qualifying relative, but not a qualifying child if the child does not live with you. Very important, so keep that in mind. Now, as mentioned in the intro, can you actually claim your boyfriend or girlfriend as a dependent? Well, typically you can't claim your spouse as a dependent, aka the person you are married to. But if you have not tied the knot just yet, you may be able to claim your boyfriend or girlfriend as a dependent. Here's how. To claim your boyfriend or girlfriend as a dependent, you must be able to say yes to the following question. Do they live with you? You see, the girlfriend or boyfriend must have lived with you for the entire year to claim them as a dependent. Do they have an income under $4,300? The girlfriend or boyfriend cannot make over $4,300 in gross income. Did you support the boyfriend or girlfriend? You must have provided more than half of the girlfriend's or boyfriend's total support for the year, even if the girlfriend or boyfriend has a job. If you can say yes to those three questions, your girlfriend or boyfriend would be considered a qualifying relative. And you can claim them as a dependent on your tax return. You can also claim a parent as a dependent on your tax return. Let's take a look at that. To claim a parent on your tax return, you only need to be able to say yes to one question. Did you provide support for the parent? If you provided more than half of the parent support for household expenses, you are able to claim a parent as a dependent. And remember, the parent does not have to live with you to qualify as a dependent. There may be a situation where more than one person contributes to the support of a parent and no one person contributed at least 50%. In this scenario, each person who pays more than 10% of support for the parent will need to fill out Form 2120 and give it to the person who will claim the parent. The person claiming the parent will want to add the collective Form 2120s to their tax return. Look, I'm gonna place a few videos on the screen I think you should watch next. Be sure to check them out. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It helps others to find this video on YouTube. And subscribe to the channel for more information that helps you save on taxes and increase your wealth. I'm Koran from Life Accounting, and I'll see you in the next video.